2021 Bronco on the Mustang Mach 1. Perhaps will be a coming sight one day. Now the blue level aficionados need to be a little bit more patient as wonderful things are in store during the next few months. For example, the highly anticipated 2021 Ford Bronco and the 2021 Mustang Mach 1 should become a common sight on American roads just a few months from now. And boy oh boy, what an awesome piece of kit the Mach 1 is. Not in the exact same configuration that was recently spotted by a couple of automotive enthusiasts. Now, ever since Ford started churning out the pre-production prototypes of the delayed 2021 Bronco, the spotting game has become a real-life roller coaster. Up and down, up and down, all around, through the bins. It seems as if the United States automaker has decided to compensate the patience of reservation holders with teasing sights of just about every iteration of the two-door and the four-door rock-crawling SUV. And we have seen many incarnations of the very first addition to the odd fastback soft top Bronco, both in two door and four door, and from the accessory laden units to the Mighty Warthog. Unfortunately, we've even seen some Broncos that caught fire on the trailer. I don't know if you guys seen that one, but I had that one on here, and I get rid of it because of copyright reasons. But at the same time, you can see it online. Just go online and type it in. You know, the Bronco caught fire. I'm sure it'll come up. What we haven't seen until now is the Bronco seen idle in the parking lot next to a brand new Mustang Mach 1, which was sighted earlier. And I don't have that picture here because it belongs to someone else. So I will stick just to the Mach 1 uh, Ford pictures and the Bronco all by Ford Nation. And this is just amazing. Now, they were also incredibly lucky to be able to see this. Now, the entire spotting takes place between, you know, takes place in the video on YouTube. A YouTuber actually had it on there. It's called Detroit Drivers Channel and it's on YouTube. Go there and check it out. You'll be able to see. And they were behind the dealership. They filmed something very, very interesting. And actually, it was a right hand drive Mustang Mach 1 next to a Bronco. And it was just amazing. You'll be able to find it there. Now, the 2021 Bronco is nothing surprising. As we're dealing with a Subto two door Black Diamond. An example dressed up in cactus gray is the third grade down from the line, starting at 36,050 with a spotted light hue, coming as a free of charge option. Now, on the other hand, sitting right next to the 2021 Mach 1 was the beautiful Bronco, which stands for everything that Blue Oval is just about. So it's, it's just amazing. I mean, I love the uh, I love the Mach One too, and I always loved Mustangs. The only thing I never liked about Mustangs is that you can't fit nobody in the back seat. Unlike the M3, you know, you can put people or not the M3, but the M4, you can put people in the back seat. But the Mustang, you can't get in the back seat without your head hitting the window, especially these six feet. It's just not going to happen. It's meant to be a two seater. But um. I still love the Mustang. I always love it. I wish they just made a back seat that you can put people in. But on the other hand, by the way, the automotive enthusiasts from Detroit drivers moved on with the business after raving about the Bronco and the Mach 1. They subsequently went uh, on their merry way to visit Henry Ford Museum and then found something else to fall in love with. An older yet untamed Jeep Cherokee XJ. Somehow, we really think that this was a fine and it's just an awesome, quite fitting but this is just awesome, folks. I love this Bronco, especially in the black. I love all colors, particularly I like the um the Outer Banks model is what I like to get. So I'm looking at the, uh, I have to do my, actually buying in 2023 or 2024. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully things can happen sooner than that. But this Mach 1 is just lovely, folks. This is the Automotive Review. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. And have an awesome and terrific day. Hi, this is Bruce from AO Automotive Reviews. Encouraging you to subscribe, to like, and to continue watching these videos. Thanks for watching. And I look forward to putting out a lot more great content. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Much love.
Peace out.